Hey everyone, thanks for joining us today at Publicist Commerce on the I Could Buy That series. We want to keep this concise, so let me remind you of the rules of the game before we get into it. First of all, we invite a credible guest that's here to expand how we look at our industry. Today's guest is Stephen Chris, VP Digital Commerce and Omni Shopper Marketing at Campbell Snacks. What we do next is we're going to ask Stephen to share with us an opening hypothesis a short, in a short sentence to set the stage, a hot take of something we better want to understand. Lastly, what Stephen's going to do is he's going to substantiate that with three key data points or three arguments to really cement this new thought and hopefully get us thinking a bit different. So, hey, Stephen, um, thank you for joining us today. Um, if you could please introduce yourself, please tell us a bit more about yourself. Yeah, hey, it's great to be here. Thanks for inviting me on the, on the show. Um, thrilled to be here. Uh, who am I? 30 years in the industry. I'm 40 with the whole 30 years, but 20 of those years at Mondelez is probably my biggest impact. Started in Nabisco, worked through Kraft, worked through the split of the company at Mondelez, always in the center of the company with shopper and commerce and promotions and integrated marketing. Joined Campbell Snacks a year and a half ago. Love what I do, love this space. Uh, I can't think of a better time to be working in this space uh, than today. All right. So basically, if someone sells a cookie, someone sells a snack, you're their guy. You're the person to help them move product. You know, what could be better? I, you know, 30 years in cookies, crackers, candy, chocolate. Yeah, not so bad. Awesome. Okay, cool. So we've we've invited you because, well, first we love our discussions, but what's this big idea that you want to share with our listeners today? What's this idea they should buy into? Yeah, sure. Um, I think I think I'll start with that. A little bit in the opening, I mentioned that this is probably the most fascinating time to be in the industry. So much change. Nobody can question the change in the past two to three years, primarily driven by COVID. But with all that change comes some complexity, maybe. Or is it really that hard after all? And I think that's what I'm what I'm wrap, wrapping my arms around, which is I just don't think commerce is that hard, hard after all today. OK, I don't want you to put me out of a job. We tend to tell people we can help them with their commerce because it's so complicated. But what makes you think it's not complicated? Listen, uh, it, it's, there are a lot of new tools, right? I think that's the biggest thing that's changed between today and maybe five years ago. The toolbox was simpler, easier, and, and the script might have been at the same time. No doubt, we've got a bigger toolbox. And with a bigger toolbox comes fancier tools, maybe more complex tools, maybe tools that have different manuals that come in different languages. Languages. There's no doubt there's complexity in all that, but I think our key is to make this new world work is to dive into those new tools and how to make them simplified, yet still be really smart. And I think we are, we as an industry, are making it more hard than it really needs to be. So don't get me wrong, there is a lot of new complexity in the world. There are a lot of new tools and fancy things, but I think it's our job to continue to push the envelope to make those easier and more simpler to drive ultimately what we're trying to do. Okay. All right. So what are, when you're thinking that, um, what are these changes that you're seeing? Uh, what, what makes you think that the simplification can be done? Yeah, uh, listen, uh, the biggest answer to your, or my, my primary answer to your question is what hasn't changed? What hasn't changed is what's ultimately the most important in the industry that we work in is is the, the basic premise of what drives brands, the equity, the reason to believe. Um, those basic elements of what makes up a brand to get you to buy that, to put it in the basket, the physical basket or the digital basket, that hasn't changed. It's, it is the industry and the innovation and technology of the world. And that collision of the foundation of a simple brand and all these new tools, that is what has changed. And so we have to learn new languages and learn how these tools work. But at the basic premise, we just always have to remember what we're trying to do. Build our mm -hmm. brands to satisfy the needs of our shoppers and consumers to get them to buy one more and put it into the basket. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I know that you and I speak a lot about um some of the focus of commerce, right? So you've been in this game for a while, right? You've been in the industry for a while. Um, typically, commerce was a side thing, something in the corner, 
uh, perhaps Shopper had a bit more focus, but do you feel like today there's a bit more focus, there's a bit more resources, that there's a shifting of you know what was available to you or not? Do you feel more empowered today than earlier or at different points in, in your in your journey? I, I do. I think, um, not to be repetitive, but the toolbox has just gotten really, really fascinating. And I think that toolbox, were, and I'll go back to the earlier statements of, we're writing what the future is going to be. In other words, we're writing history today. Couldn't be more mm-hmm. excited to be doing that. But um, we all have to be learning during all this. And the more we keep it simple, the vocabulary is simple, the understanding of, again, the ultimate objective of what we're doing, I think the better we'll all be. What I mm-hmm. fear is we're beginning to lack some courage in the industry of stepping up to ask the questions because we might be thinking some of these new fancy tools are really more complicated than they are. And people lose their courage to ask some simple questions of really what it is that they do. And we've got a lot of people in the industry on panels and and, and the talk show, you know, the, 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 the whole market, adding all this and trying to keep up when I know it, I see it around me, man. People just lose their courage to say, wait, wait, time out. I didn't understand that. Can you just break it down for me? And when you break it down to its simplest, yet still smart, I'm not saying we shouldn't be strategic in what we're trying to go do. Just make it a little bit simpler. And I think the industry will move that much better and forward in ways that we can all understand. Yeah, I I think you, you put it quite well. Like at the end, like although the toolbox has expanded, the vocabulary has become more complex, perhaps needlessly so that, you know, it's really about getting one more person to buy one more thing and making that relatively simple. And it's, if it's a new medium, then, then so be it. But just about simplifying that as much as possible. Yeah, you bet. And it couldn't be more exciting to be in the medium. I mean, the, day, the old days, the toolbox was really, really easy. From where I started 30 years ago, uh, it was coupons, right? I was, that's what I did. And now, now it's about first party data and how to leverage that data to be really, really smart to follow you through the path to purchase, which is no longer linear and got much more complex. But again, what I did 30 years ago and what I did today, what at the end of the day, I'm trying to grow a brand, I'm trying to get it to in your basket and get you to enjoy what I am selling. Perfect, all right. So I just wanna make sure I got this right um, for our listeners. What you're saying is that commerce isn't that hard after all. We're seeing, you know, a broader toolbox with some resources that used to be untouchable now be beginning to shift. Secondly, we're seeing that, you know, there is this unnecessary complexity um, that creates these environments that, that that could block us. But the truth is, those are very simple things. And the last last bit is this simple truth that it's about connecting with consumers uh, everywhere they want to shop and just getting them to buy that that one thing one more time. Um, so it may not be that after all. Yeah, I think you got it. That's that's it in a nutshell. Let, listen, we live in a world that's full of complex, but again, what hasn't changed is the job of the brand of equity awareness, buy rate penetration, those foundations that we all know. And let's embrace these new tools, but keep them simple yet smart. Perfect. So, you know, you 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 speak about this, you know, the simplicity that is there, and that you know, if we embrace it, we can actually have a lot of success. What would your detractors, what would your haters say about this? about the statement that, you know, commerce isn't that tough, commerce isn't that that complicated, sorry. I think most of those folks are the people that are trying to sell me something on the brand side, and they're trying to keep it complex and trying to make it fancy and show me everything that these new things can do. I- I'll buy more, I'll write more checks if you make it easy for me to understand, and that I can bring my team along on the journey and we can all grow together. I think that's the quote of the day. I'll write more checks if you make it easy for me to understand, and I can bring my team along the way. Well. We'll take that from you. Well, Stephen, thank you, uh, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Uh, I have a feeling we're going to have another one of these pretty soon because I know that there are many, uh, many topics that were left on the on the cutting room floor. But to everyone else, uh, thank you for listening. We hope that this got you thinking in a whole new way. We'd love to hear your feedback. Please drop us an email and join us next time for I Could Buy That. <laughs>